Department of Music and Musicology. Although we're situated on the edge of campus, we've been part of the history of Rhodes University since 1923. In fact, we're one of the oldest music departments in the country. Alongside the International Library of African Music, we offer our students the opportunity to experience music from our own country, and we're proudly South African in our approach. But that doesn't mean we don't offer a rounded learning experience. Instrumentalists, singers, and performance artists, alongside those who focus solely on research, are all able to tap into the resources that we have developed over many, many years. So if you are looking for a proudly South African university, this is the one for you. Hi, my name is Vosi, and I am the administrator at the Rose University Department of Music. I welcome you all, and I hope you have a successful year. Please come and see me if you have any queries regarding departmental matters. Hi, I'm Ilana Chirombo. I am the librarian in the music department. We're very lucky at the music department to have a departmental library where we have sheet music, books, scores, um, space to work, and uh, some public computers and a printer. Uh, we, are, we fall under the main library, um, but I am also a musician, so sometimes I get involved in ensembles, I can help students with assignments, looking for material. So I look forward to seeing you and helping you. Hello, I'm Dr. William Ferry from the Department of Music and Musicology here at Rhodes University. Um, I'm sort of invested in the department in two different ways. I do some undergrad teaching um, around the musicology subject um, and I'm the coordinator of postgraduate studies here at our department. And my main aim here is really to think through music as a kind of intellectual field, a field of research. And so I try and create an environment for our students um, in which they can progress from undergrad all the way through to postgrad um, thinking intensively about the place of music in our society, its sort of aesthetic value, but also its cultural value, and asking some of the sort of difficult questions around what music means to us. Um, <clears throat> we have a really rich research program here um, around music, um, touching on various forms of music, from African music to Western art music, uh, to various forms of popular music. We even have students working on music for deaf people. Um, so if you're interested in pursuing music as an intellectual research project, this is the department for you. Hello everyone, I'm Dominic Dowler. Um, I'm a lecturer in musicology here in the department. Principally, I do some of the IMS work here as well, so it's up with oral, um, and while Catherine Fox has on sabbatical, some of the performance class work as well, um, which has proven to be very rewarding. I also have been doing Music Theory Analysis 1, um, which is a pretty much an entry-level course, so people without prior knowledge of theory can enter it. Um, but it means you must be fully committed to that course, because it does accelerate in the second semester. You will see theory is not um, separate from the practical element at all. In fact, you will see there's far more integration um, into what you're going to be doing in your practical studies. So many masterclasses you'll see when someone asks you a question. You'll be asked, what is the form of this? What procedures does this composer use? And that is where you will draw from your theoretical knowledge. So you must always think about that. You will walk out of here a fully rounded musician, someone who is able to think critically, and someone who is able to, at the same time, be creative, but at the same time employ great academic rigor when thinking about music, which is all that is needed in a, a very competent format. My name is Professor Catherine Foxcroft. I am the coordinator of a course called IMS, which is the Instrumental Music Studies. This is one of the two practical courses we offer in the music department, and the, the other one is sound technology, 
and this one has to do with instruments. So, um, all bachelor of music students um, will major in one of these, one of the, in their main instrument, and this could be voice, piano, strings, wind uh, instruments, or drums, or whatever. If you are not a BMI student, but you would like to continue with an instrument, even if you didn't do it for matric, um, please do make contact with us so that we can audition you and see if um, it's a viable option for you to do uh, first year music, uh, practical music with us in the department. People ask me why I study sound technology. What can sound help them? What can it help them in their future careers? And I think sound is everywhere. If you stream something on your phone, if you watch TV, if you're standing in the shop and you hear music playing, if you're watching a movie, if you're watching a series. In fact, everywhere in the world is sound. Here at Rhodes, we offer sound technology as a three-year course, a three-year major. The third year will be starting next year. It's just a new major, I'm very excited to say. We have a semesterized first year sound tech, which will be an introduction into sound and um, how sound is made, produced, how it is recorded, and also we'll touch on some audiovisual production techniques. I think that sound is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I think that sound engineering and the ability to put it permanently onto something is the most exciting process. And even if you're an instrumentalist and you don't want to be a sound engineer, just doing even an introductory course, the first year course of sound tech will give you that insight to know how sound recording works because I have found when I've recorded people and they've got no knowledge of sound and engineering and no knowledge of microphones, it's quite a different experience because I'm trying to explain, well, you stand like this or put it like that. Instrumentalists are always going to be recorded in the modern day, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, iTunes, whatever it is. Sound engineering is everywhere, and I think it's a very relevant place for your life and your career. Welcome to the International Library of African Music. My name is Elijah Madiba, and I work here as a sound engineer and manager. Um, ILM is an institute uh, of African music we uh, foc our focus mainly is on African music studies, but in the course of uh, ethnomusicology. And so what we have here in the building is an archive which houses recordings from various countries in Africa. And uh, those recordings are made available for research purposes and also uh, just for listening purposes, if you want to listen to the recordings, you can come into uh, ILM and you can record, listen to that, you know, get some inspiration, maybe if you want to make a composition of yourself and you want something to inspire, you can use those recordings there. But also what we, ha we do is um, we do uh, <clears throat> teach African instruments uh, within the course called IMS, which is uh, run by the music department. We teach how to play different instruments from different countries, uh, and uh, all that fits into the IMS course, which is uh, by the music department. We've got programs that we run uh, throughout the year. You know, you've got to watch out. Usually we've got concerts that uh, happen every term that you can uh, be part of and uh, other community-based kind of projects too that we get involved in. But this is in short just a, uh, what ILM is and what we are doing here. <laughs>